Hello, how are you doing? Is there a problem with your neighbor tonight? No. Are you? Oh, what's, what's your name? One? Shannon. My name's, no, my name's Antoine. Your name is Antoine. Yeah. Okay. You what? guys didn't call from here. Mm -mm. Nobody, no calls from my house. Shannon, no Shannon here. No. That lives here. No. Huh. And this is seventeen fifteen, right? No, it's seventeen eleven. Oh dear! Yeah. So 1715 is probably behind. Is it? By, is that a duplex? Then? Yeah, those are like. Those are duplexes and, and triplexes right here. Okay, I just. <laughs> yeah. 1719 was there, so. Because it's 17. I kind of like the cop knocking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cop. We had a secret knock. <laughs> All right, cool. I'll go to the right address. Okay, then. no problem. Have a good night, guys. Thanks. That's the wrong address. What's that? I said that's the wrong address. Oh. So probably one behind the other. What's that? <laughs> Hello, are you Shannon? Yes. Spokane Police Department. Hi. Just want to let you know you're being audio and visually recorded. Okay. Um, is that Zeke? No. Yeah, that is Zeke. Oh. Hey, Zeke, what's going on tonight? Yeah, what's going on? I don't know. That's what we're here to find out. Is there some problems? Some neighborly problems? Yeah, a little bit. Seven four. Did you get that name back? Keep it down tonight. And just okay. Um, on Mr. Zeke, people paying twelve twenty one of ninety. N zero no DOL out of Washington. Got it. Okay. So what was the problem? Um, he was out here talking and uh, saying something about bitch. And then I hope you can hear me, bitch. So I would like it just to be kept down so I can get some. Oh, is that something you he was probably saying to you then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And nothing else other than that, or. No. Okay. And you just wanted to leave you alone then? Yeah. Okay. Alright. So just hang out here and we'll get it figured okay. out. Okay. That was the only really problem we had. We were on our carbon pumpkins for a while and she seemed alright, but it was. You got a problem with her? No, she has a problem with us. Okay. It's all backwards. Okay. Well, here's the deal. She'll leave you alone, you leave her alone. You guys live in a triplex or a quadplex, which means it's basically an apartment, and there's always noise is going to bother everyone. Okay? What would I do if 
she's just making false reports after false reports and she's just slandering me and harassing me and my family. People can make There's reports. Can they can really about that. They can report every, anything. What's she reporting? Oh, she's, for instance, calling my girlfriend's job today, saying that she's a felon, that she's been in and out of jail, that she, this and that. And my girl is a felon. Granted, it's six years old. Okay. You know, she's changed. So is this life. your house? Yeah, she's went to school. Is that your door, right. or is it your back door? No, this is my laundry room. Ah, okay, that makes more sense. This is my door right here. That was my girlfriend okay. just looked out. That makes more sense. So okay. we were out here just carving pumpkins, and my landlord came over today and said that she's been calling, saying that my barbecue was in her way. You know, if she could have just asked me, I would have moved my barbecue. You know, she's been just making all sorts of, like, it's kind of late, but, I mean, if you guys can call my landlord and even she'll tell you that... She's nuts, and she's just making all sorts of false reports and claims that are just absurd. You know, trying to ruin my family, trying to get my girlfriend fired from her job. To, you well, know, I think your girlfriend's live. employer would know all that background. On that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, she didn't lie on her application, so all okay. that's all good. But okay. it's the principle, you know. Why would you do that to somebody? Well, I just don't want to hear bitch me. I don't want to hear anything, and I don't want to try to sleep and go to work tomorrow. Well, why would you call her work and tell that her? That was at like 11 this morning. Sorry. Why would you do something? <laughs> why would you do I something? didn't call. Okay. This is all, that's what they think. Okay. So. All right, well. So, between everybody, this is all, you guys live four feet from each other. I'm moving. We, I know, I understand. Oh okay, but you got to be here for some amount of time. I just don't want to have him out here tonight well, saying things. Okay. He can't be out here maybe saying things to you, but at the, at the same token, this is his house too. This is a public area he here. Very he broke that fence over there. Okay. And that's why I'm scared. Okay. Well, you guys all need to figure it out. So what I'd say is go inside, lock your door. If you're scared of him, we'll leave it alone. Okay. If there's a noise violation, which means after 10 and it's unreasonable noise over 50 feet, besides noise you can hear through the walls, because that doesn't count, right, right. then I guess you could call. Okay. So don't okay. violate the noise ordinance. Uh, but okay. other than that, oh. there, there's not a whole lot we can do, but ask you guys to keep the peace and just tell you, you guys got to learn to get along. Right. There's okay. nothing we can do. Okay. okay. Understand? Thank you. Fair enough? All right, have a good night. You too. I'm oh, sorry, you guys. Okay. Yeah, being out here, if what she says is true, I don't, I don't care. Just understand if that's what you're doing, no, that's I, why we're here. I okay. Give okay. A hair or less on my body just. Them. Yep. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Alright, you guys have a good night. Sorry about wasting. Yeah, not a waste, not a waste, man. Alright. Yep, you too.